Hello and welcome to How to Film Weddings. My name is Nick Miller and today I want to talk to you about something that I am very, very excited about. Canon actually confirmed some specs of the new R5 mirrorless camera. I am so excited to talk about that in this video. A couple weeks ago, I was able to see the Canon R5 with my own eyes. Yes, it was behind a protected glass box at WPPI in Las Vegas, but I saw that the camera was real. I saw that they have developed it, that it's not just a rumor. One of the things that Canon has been touting about the new R5 is that it will shoot 8K video. 8K video. Well, today, Canon announced that 8K is confirmed and it will shoot 30 frames per second with a full frame sensor and autofocus capabilities will work on the 8K video. One of the things that Canon confirmed is the 8K video will shoot 30 frames per second. Now what we don't know is if it will include 24 frames per second or not. It didn't say up to 30 frames per second, it just said 30 frames per second. Another thing that we don't know is the codec of the 8K. Uh, could be 8-bit, which would make it the file size is more manageable. 10-bit seems unlikely for a camera of this size and this output. Of course, this could be brand new technology and maybe they are able to cram all of that in such a little body, but we just don't know what the Kodiak is going to be quite yet. Right now, the 1DX Mark III is the benchmark for Canon cameras. The 1DX Mark III can process 995 million pixels per second with its sensor and processor. 8K at 30 frames per second is exactly 995 million pixels per second. So we know that this camera is capable of doing that. 4K at 120 frames per second is also 995 million pixels per second, but you have to have a crop sensor in order to process that. Do you think the 8K video is really that useful? Let us know in the comments below. It's also rumored that Canon is gonna come out with a new battery for this camera, similar in size to the LP uh, batteries that fit in the 5D Mark IV. However, uh, I don't know if they will work. This camera is gonna consume a lot more power, a lot more energy just to run it. And so if you're shooting in 8K with autofocus and IBIS, it doesn't make sense for these older batteries that aren't gonna be able to hold the charge and power the camera as well. Expect that even if the older uh, batteries that would fit in the 5D Mark IV or could fit in the R5. I don't know that Canon will allow them to work just because battery life is going to be very, very low, especially if you are shooting with all of the capabilities, 8K, IBIS, autofocus, all of that. Canon did confirm that the dual pixel autofocus will work in 8K. Uh, this is a big deal. It shows that this camera has some major, major processing power and able to handle all of that. Heat is going to be one of the biggest issues with the R5. It is much smaller than the 1DX Mark III, obviously, and it's even smaller than the Sony Panasonic S1H that has a fan built in it. Canon does make their own processors, and the latest is the Digic X, a major leap that replaced Canon's dual processor system in the 1DX series. Whenever Canon puts out these processors, they kind of have a tick-tock uh, way of coming about. You have the tick, then you have the talk. The tick is going to be a processor that produces a lot of heat so that all of the stuff in the camera can run itself. And then the talk is going to be the next version of that processor that is going to take all of the heat and then and make it more efficient. Hopefully with the R5, they will take this processor from the tick to the talk and make it more efficient, even though this camera is going to produce a lot, a lot of heat. If the R5 is able to have no uh, recording limit in 8K or even 30 minutes in recording on 8K, that means that they have made great leaps and great strides in the heat management of this camera. So again, it has been confirmed that it will shoot 8K at 30 frames per second with full frame and autofocus. These are some massive, massive improvements, but there's just so much stuff that we do not know yet about this camera. What's the battery life gonna be like? What's the heat going to be like? What codex is this camera going to shoot in? We just don't know that information, but we are really, really excited to see what Canon announces over the next few weeks and months, and we cannot, cannot wait to get our hands on the new Canon R5. What are some of the things that you are hoping for in this camera? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates on the R5 whenever they are released. Thanks for watching and until next time, we will see ya.